welcome to the first episode of our Crystal Isles live Let's Play series. I'm Mike, the Ark Survival Guide, and this is my wife, Jen, who will be joining us on our adventure. Hi! This replay from our live stream will show you how we got the luckiest start ever on the Crystal Isles. We happened to start on my favorite spawn location on the entire map and spotted the rare new Tropiognathus flyer within the first few seconds of the game. We also found a unicorn on the first day, which is one of the rarest dinos on Ark. In this video, we will start with nothing but our bare hands and our wits as we fight off starvation, dehydration, and deadly dinosaurs. But by by the end of this episode, we will have a good starter base, weapons, and enough supplies to start taming dinosaurs in the next episode. I'm still pretty new to ARC, so Mike will be explaining what he's doing as we play. And you will probably learn a lot of good ARC tricks too. And we will chat with you all and have lots of fun as we go through our adventure on the beautiful new Crystal Isles map. So let the adventure begin! So once again, please drop a comment if you guys can see us or hear us, and uh, let us know how the quality is. Hopefully this will be coming through any minute now. And hopefully, give me one second here, I'm going to try to make sure this is public. And hopefully this will start showing up for you guys. So, we are just zoning in here, and now you should hopefully be able to see us. We are here in the Crystal Isles map, and Ooh. oh, wow, this is amazing. Okay. Well, this is a really good spot to this learn, This is the it? absolute best spot, and this right here is the Tropiognathus, which is the brand new flyer. Wow, okay. So we, we, uh, <laughs> we, we are got, got lucky, I guess, lucky everybody. Here. Okay, so um, I actually made an entire guide on the easiest way to start on the Crystal Isles map and that involved doing this really elaborate thing to try to get up to this spot and uh, I just happened to already be showing up here that's Sweet. crazy okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is punch some trees and uh, I'm losing a little bit of health as I'm punching the trees so I'm gonna do that because I'll regain my health slowly all right that should be good for that I'm also gonna gather some of these nice little palm fronds because we'll be able to use those for fiber and we're getting berries out of these plants and I've already leveled up just from punching the snot out of those trees. So uh, if you want to, like, gain some great experience in life, just get into a fist fight with a tree. Uh, and uh, you'll come out of it with a lot. Though? It's a great learning experience. You'll learn a lot if you get into a fist <laughs> fight with a tree. All, All right. right. <laughs> so I have already leveled up, which is great. I'm actually going to increase my movement speed a little bit first so I can effectively run away from dinos. And I'm going to learn a stone hatchet and a spear. So, uh, Jen is actually brand new to this, so what I'm doing... For the doing, most part, yeah. Yeah, so she hasn't really played through ARC very much with us, but I've she's actually Mike planning play, to join so, us. Yeah. Not so, a whole new... It's been a while since I've done a whole new map like this. So exactly. It's such a pretty location area, it too. It really is, isn't it? So the first thing I did was I made a pickaxe, and now I'm going to run around and see if I can find some good stone on the ground, which there should be some I can just pick up. And uh, hopefully we'll find a boulder around here because I need to get some stone so I can build a hatchet. All right, cool. It just looks like you're just grabbing this like ginormous I'm thing. I'm just grabbing <laughs> everything, you know, that's how it goes. All right, so we got some stone and some flint. And that should give me enough materials to actually craft this hatchet. There we go. And I got some flint that I can use to craft a spear. And that's going yeah. to be really helpful. So first thing we need to worry about is having enough food and water to survive. And we've actually got a perfect water source Look right that here. beautiful water. Isn't this beautiful? These little plants in here actually glow in the dark Ooh, at night time, so too. Cute. I thought they were bubbles at first. Yeah, that's isn't adorable. that cool? You're hot, Michael. I am hot, right? So I'll go cool off in the <laughs> swimming pool that comes with our new house, which is kind of nice. So, <laughs> so this is where we're going to set up the house next This is this actually pool. where I want to live. This yeah, it's kind of amazing. We, we literally just randomly spawned here. Right, so it's amazing. So you can spawn in any number of locations. You can get in right like here. dozens of different possible locations, and we just happened to show up in the in absolute favorite best spot. spot. He was like freaking out earlier. I, was, I, I cannot believe we've already showed up here. This is amazing. Magic. All right, so we got some wood. We got some thatch. I'm hopefully going to be able to craft a storage box, because the next thing that's going to be a problem is we'll run out of wood wait but check it out leveling up again but uh the next thing i need to worry about is decency right jen i'm gonna go ahead and uh, make myself pants and a shirt that would be a good plan that is important i mean nobody's right? around though so do you really need to worry about well we got that dinosaur over there and it's looking at me really weird Ooh, don't like he that might guy. be concerned about your lack of clothes. yeah 
We are not actually lack- both playing. I am watching while Michael is heading it up. Which is great, because I am not really great at chatting with you guys while dinosaurs are chasing me. So this way, Jen can help chat with you guys while I am actually running around. And whoa, that guy is really close by. Okay. Oh, he's pretty. He's like a parrot. He is cool, isn't he? So we're eventually going to try to tame this guy. But unfortunately, I usually love taming things that I am way too low level to use. But that guy is impossible to tame until we can make a chain bola, which is kind of hard to get to. So... All right, let's see. I'm going to give myself a little bit more movement speed. And let's see. Oh, great. We can actually start building a thatch hut and storage boxes. Perfect. So now I'm starting to unlock some engrams for making a thatch foundation for our new house. Not to be confused with Enneagram. Yes, these are not (laughs) unlocking Enneagram types. Okay, I'm almost 100% sure this guy is passive and will not attack me, so we should be okay. He seems friendly enough. He seems friendly enough. Now, if I mess with him, he's definitely going to kill us, but... Right? Okay, so this is actually a cool spot right here. I think I'm going to start building a thatch house because we can actually wall off both sides of this little area if I build a thatch house right here. Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. We got protection from the back. Exactly. The so I'll build this right up against this wall here. And uh, so, Jen, what I'm doing is I'm actually unlocking these uh, abilities to build stuff, like this thatch house. And I'm going to build my thatch house right up against here because it'll provide some temporary shelter. But it'll also give me a nice wall once I finish the house. We'll have a little bit of our wall completed. And I'm actually going to use this to wall off this whole area. So there's a storage box. And now I can actually put some of the heavier stuff I'm picking up in here, which is really helpful. I think I'm going to craft a couple more spears. Looks like I need a little more wood to do that. Chris Boyd says hello, by the way. Well, he hello, says, Chris Mike, Boyd. Specifically, smiley nice. Face. All right. We also got K Gaming on here, Sean. Uh, Domina, Ya, Leonida, Tex, nice. Spark, and Emily Bate. Wow, good Hello, to see everybody. all of you. Yeah, that's awesome. I actually Thanks wasn't sure us. if we would get much uh, in the way of views right now because we uh, had kind of a last second uh, thing we were doing. But well, we tried to great. schedule it, but YouTube's been a little funny with yeah, uh, pre scheduling stuff. That, so we're going to so. figure that out for next time to give you guys yep. a little more time in advance. Right. But hey, glad you're here. Exactly. We are so glad to have you guys here. All right, I'm going to give myself a thatch, walls, and some door frames. So now I can start building some of that stuff. So pretty soon we'll have a lot of uh, engrams unlocked where we can make all kinds of good stuff. But uh, the first thing I'm doing is just kind of making a house with some shelter. One interesting thing about building is when you actually craft a structure, it actually weighs less than all of the parts combined. So let's see. The what structure do I need? weighs less than all of the things. Yeah. Is so that if I just weird arc physics, I think it's because actually, I don't think that's how real life works. Right. But when you think about it, like think about uh, if you cut down an entire tree and then you turn that into small boards to build a house, and then you build the actual bit of the house you need, it's gonna be. You're encumbered. Right. I am. You're covered in cucumbers. I need to get myself a little <laughs> bit more weight here. All right. Here we yeah. go. Hit maybe myself a just... door. Maybe a little bigger house. So you guys might have noticed. So I'm now getting... it's fine. You can just <laughs> right? the wall, but not all the things. <laughs> so Most now that I've got me. walls and ceilings instead of just sticks, then I can actually move more freely. So. Oh, man. oh uh, wow, this guy so is so So where is cool. Eldritch Isles? Eldritch Isles is on the opposite side of the map, actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, I figured. Uh, yeah. Chris Boyd dares you to go there. Oh, he dares me to go there. <laughs> At your yeah. current level. Yeah, that'll I think, work out uh, I, I think I might take a hard sure. pass on that one right now. Welcome, um, Shifting Gears. How are hey, you guys welcome. doing? It's 12 a.m. where you are. Oh, wow. Dominia. Gonna give you a, uh, a medal An anime girl's here. Hey. Hey, everybody. welcome. That's great. It is 4.30-ish. Well, 4.42 now. Yeah. We are at... <laughs> so I'm going to start building some walls for my nifty little house here. There we go. Look at that nifty little Pretty house. Pretty cool, huh? I think I'll build this three wide uh, because, oh, oh yeah, that's that same like that trophy of Nathus, right? Like, yeah. No, <laughs> Let's Not yet. See. <laughs> Let us build some walls, please. Yeah, I think I'll actually make this a little bit bigger, so I'm going to store some of this stuff. So this is the part where I start getting overweight, and that's kind of a problem. Welcome, Pro Nova. Hey, welcome. And Sharon. All right. Hello. Got a lot of people here. That's awesome. Double smiley face. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me is that a 
have some berries here. That is a pile of salt. It's not super helpful, but uh, you know, we've got it anyway. So now I need a little more fiber to start building some uh, thatch stuff. And I might even be getting close to where I can build a slingshot, which is really exciting. So you guys may have noticed on most of my series, I always do one times taming and gathering and experience, but I'm actually running this on double of all of those settings because first of all, you guys have seen me go from uh, start to finish with no additional stuff so many times, but um, I'm actually, we have an event going on where ARK has the Summer Bash event at this moment, and that's actually got like triple rates on official servers. So I thought it'd be more fun to watch everything go kind of fast as we're starting out, yeah. and that way you guys can kind of see us get everything together, and uh, it won't take quite as long, which is kind of fun. So, okay, what do you think, Jen? Should I make this house a little bit bigger? Yeah, I was about Maybe to say, it's more wide. like a hallway. Right? It is kind of a <laughs> it's hallway. It's like, you can barely fit in next to your little chest yeah here. that's very true what do you think like just about this big just enough room to move around is yeah, that, that's that about right okay cool you can always expand later right yeah i always can so i'll put a doorway here we'll get uh maybe let's see two three four five more I'm walls i'm surprised you didn't put it right by the swimming pool i well, thought about with it. the back though that is uh -huh. nice to have that protection we will be expanding a lot so true. basically right now i'm just making this out of thatch but that will barely hold up against any dinosaur attacks like a velociraptor can pretty much eat my whole house at this point so it's not going to do a whole lot of good it's not super uh not super tough but we're going to be building a new house out of uh out of some wood pretty soon so I mostly just wanted to kind of get the basics together real quick. And this is actually getting us a really good experience boost by making all these foundations and ceilings. You can barely walk. I know. I can barely <laughs> I'm like move. imagining you with just like a whole house on your back. It's great. Build a thatch mount mansion, Water right? gun skin? What's the water gun? So the water gun uh, skin, there's actually a skin you can put on a flamethrower with the Summer Bash event. And that makes it so your water gun ha, looks, oh, okay. your, your you flamethrower looks that. like a water yes, gun. It's kind of amazing. That's so. fantastic. I like it. Yep. So I've gathered enough berries to have a pretty good amount of food, and I'm just kind of snacking on these as we walk around. I've got enough berries that I can actually start taming some stuff, too. So uh, if you guys want, we can actually start uh, looking for some dinos to tame. And I usually like to try with a parasaur first, so that's always the first thing I go for taming. And uh, if you guys want, we can go after that. I've got good walls all the way around my stuff, which is kind of nice. And uh, let's see, what else can I craft right now? Let's see if I can actually make a slingshot. Yes, I can. Careful, he's crafty. <laughs> he is crafty. And we can make a bola pretty soon, too. So the slingshot is going to make it so we can actually kill quite a bit of stuff. And let's see here. Oh, I should probably make a door, don't you think? We'll go ahead and make a door. Yeah, you need to make a thatch mansion. Right? Mansion, according to Pronova. Oh, and this will be really helpful. Mansion. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the hide sleeping bag pretty soon. So, we're going to go ahead and hunt some stuff so we can get some... Uh, you can get some stuff that'll actually allow us to make a sleeping bag, which is very helpful. There's a lot of hashtags going for you oh, making man. a thatch mansion. Thatch I'm mansion. Sure this is going to happen at some point. Oh, this might have to happen. We'll at just some keep point. expanding it. Right. Like, it'll like eventually <laughs> encompass the whole like side of the mountain. Actually, yep. that'd be pretty sweet. We like, will have an cabins. epic thatch mansion eventually. Let's see here. How am I doing for water? I'm going to go back and grab some water real quick because I could actually run out of uh, water and die of thirst up here. Because there's only one. Oh, there's a lot of things you can <laughs> die from. Thankfully, this mountain is relatively safe compared to most places. So there's not as many deadly dinos up here. But let's see here. Okay. So what's the first thing you're going to tame? What, what is that guy that we saw? So the guy that we saw was a Tropiognathus, which is actually completely impossible to tame until we hit like level 50, which is a bummer because I really want to tame one of those soon. But what I'm looking for right now is some dodos, possibly Listrosaurs, things like that, that well, we can actually hunt. We will have to uh, see what people want to name it. Yeah, exactly. Calls for names. So, Trike. <laughs> right. So what do you, we, we got some votes here for tame a trike, tame nice, a parasaur. Mm -hmm. There was some something else maybe earlier. I'm maybe probably going to go for uh, taming a trike and a parasaur as the first couple dinos, and we'll see which ones we can actually find. Hmm. 
I'm having a hard time finding anything alive around here, so let's see if we can climb up this mountain. That might not be the best Michael, idea. Michael, the earth around <laughs> you is alive. Right. <laughs> the trees. Oh, man. Let's see. Yeah, I'm actually not seeing any dinos that I can hunt up here, so I'm going to have to find a different section of this mountain. Thankfully, I know this mountain pretty well because uh, this I did a whole guide about how this is the best, easiest spot to start on your uh, ARC adventures. But I was not expecting to start up on top of the mountain. I thought I'd have to build my way up here, which was going to get pretty intense. This hey, is also a good up. place for flowers too, right, Mike? Yeah, you can actually get rare flowers up here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I actually Michael's got a bunch of them. be releasing a video next week on that. You've got it. It, yeah for some of the best places to find all the flowers all right what else do i need here well actually i'm pretty well set for a lot of this stuff oh i'll learn the engram for the sleeping bag and we'll save up some more so we can build some better stuff after that so let's see if we can find something to hunt we've got three spears which will get us a little bit uh, we can definitely hunt down some stuff with those I'm eventually going to get to where I can build some wooden ladders and actually climb my way down to the beaches, which will be great. But I'm going to head up to the top of this mountain first. Oh, there's a turtle. And I don't dare pick a fight with him just yet because uh, I've oh, only got... Oh, but he's so cute. He is pretty cute, right? I don't really want to kill him, though, because I've only got three That's spears true. so far. It's always so sad when you kill him. I Did know. Did you just... Whoa, oh, Bearded fun. Reaction! Oh, hey! Thank you so much! Wow! Oh, thanks, Bearded Reaction! so appreciate it! Oh, I can't stay. We wanted to send some love. That's oh, so nice. Thank we appreciate you. it. And well, don't everybody... worry, our live streams we always repost. So yes, if you so you will be able to, to catch it, up the rest of this soon. We will always repost it. Well, we're killing this dodo here's, for you, Bearded Reaction. Here's reactions. us just stabbing a dodo just for you Whoa. to say we care. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, it just kind of oh, flew up was... in the air. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But really, everybody, please give a big thank you to Bearded Reactions for that tip. That was awesome. We really appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much. Wish you could stay and chat, but uh, we'll definitely catch up with you again sometime soon. So keep us posted when you're back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And we'll have this replay probably on Monday, depending on how fast we can get it to uh, get posted. So... All right, so we're having to run pretty far from our house to actually find anything to hunt down here. We got one dodo, which was great. And I'm trying to get a sleeping bag up pretty quickly because that's going to allow me to respawn right over here. Oh, I thought you were just because it's, you're tired. I am tired. <laughs> Maybe you should just sleep there? right where you are. I'm just going to like Imagine fall if asleep we all just right did that here. All yeah. The time. I mean, like, we I'm technically tired now, could, like you're at but. Your friend's uh, house. Okay, just not very bye. socially acceptable, you know. You just zonk out on somebody's couch. Have See we ya. seen any pegos around here? Oh, look at that guy! This He's guy is so a cool turtle. Orange. This is like Ninja Turtle right here, he green like and a orange. Ninja turtle. Wow. Oh my gosh! So Michael and I watched. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the Michael Bay. We don't want to tell them that. Ninja Turtles from 2017. It was rough. It was rough. And you guys. wow, guys, that mm -hmm. was a uh, very interesting movie. All right, I know I'm going to find something alive around here somewhere. This is crazy. I don't know if you've all seen it, but that reminded me kind of of them. Yeah, so true. Not quite so orange. Oh, okay, look at we that got some Lystrosaurs, and actually the sun <laughs> is going down too, so I need to make a torch. Wow, this day went by fast, I did, really it did. It actually I did spent, in real life. I spent most of the day running up and down here. Let's see here. Okay, so I need some flint, some wood, some thatch. Let me grab a stone up here. There should be one. Then we'll hunt some of these Lystros and actually put ah, them in a sleeping bag, right? We can be a little bit more bold once we have a sleeping bag down because that's going to allow us to respawn. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> yes. whoa, whoa, you guys. Oh, man, the orange one. We should have taken look at this, the look name of Michelangelo. Hold on, hold Wait, on. Wait, there's hold a the horse? Phone. No, a unicorn! It's a unicorn! Holy moly! Sorry if that was loud. What in the world, you guys? This is definitely a unicorn. Oh, no, uh, he's running away. But you're dehydrated. So, I know, I'm dehydrated, and I can't catch the unicorn. Oh, this is so sad, you guys. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to tame him until I can actually grow carrots, and that's going to be a long time before that happens. So this is pretty rough. Uh, I actually can't really get much benefit from that unicorn. Oh, I'm sorry. I know, I want to tame well, him that, so much. Well, I mean, much. maybe another one will show up if it's already been here. That's true. We Pass might see another one fast. sometime. All right. So I need to get some. Have we seen here. the movie Onward? Yes. Ha, yeah. Of so true. That we is did very. Watch that. I was happy when. Whoa, uh, Disney whoa. Plus watch it, Unicorn. It. Watch it there. Since okay. it was, you know, in theaters. Yeah, that was actually pretty great. Okay, I'm gonna dump this. Salt. Have we seen any Pegos yet? We have not seen any Pegos yet, which I am totally cool with because I hate Pegos. You so hate much. Pegos. I hate <laughs> we them. got some people here they begging for worst. you to tame a Pego. 
Hey unicorn, <gasps> watch unicorn? it! Oh, that's so majestic. Are you so really majestic. Kill a unicorn? But Have stay you back. Watched Harry Potter. Do you know <laughs> right. What happens if you kill a unicorn? Okay, the first unicorn <laughs> I ever saw, there was a gigantosaurus right next to it. Do you remember that, Jen? You were on the phone, and I was chasing the unicorn, and it turned and looked at me, and then just pooped right in front of yes! me. Yes. And Jen was on the phone, that. and she almost lost it when she saw that. Like she was talking on the phone, trying oh to keep my a straight gosh. face. Well, yeah, who was I talking? I think you to? were talking to your mom, Probably. and like, and it was one of those things like you couldn't really explain it, but it was just, it was, it was priceless. So it's finally becoming nighttime. I do have the nighttime interval turned down, so it shouldn't stay night for very long. Man, this unicorn is crazy. I already got a unicorn. So you can't do anything with the unicorn? So I can't do anything with him just yet. Why because not? I need... What happens if you run up and whack him? <laughs> if I just Terrible. punch him? I mean, I definitely <laughs> I think could. Sad. It wouldn't really yeah, do you, much you good. Need to, you need to drink something. Did you? I do, Are you... yeah. Okay. All right, please. so. Let Look me at your this... water. It's literally point fo Okay, now it's point <laughs> right, five. Right, right. still... So uh, one thing you can do to keep hydrated is actually eat berries. So uh, if we sense. eat a whole bunch of berries, it'll keep us just barely hydrated, but I do need to start heading down this mountain. And uh, trouble with that is it's really dangerous down at the bottom of the mountain. It also does not help that I'm running everywhere, but I got some of the hide that I needed, so now I just crafted a sleeping bag, and that's going to be very helpful. Also, let's see if I can get anything else here. I'm boosting up a lot of movement speed because I'm going to be running for my life from a lot of stuff. Oh, wooden club. Nice. Oh, and very nice. All right. All right. So, uh, hold on one second. All right, here we go. So I think I'm actually going to run back to my house real quick because we can make this sleep, uh, this uh, bed on our house. That way, if we die, we can pop right back up there, and I'll be able to get a drink. Real you are quick. still done, yeah. I was like Michael because <laughs> I am still you very focus dehydrated. On the important thing. And uh, we're actually getting pretty hungry pretty quickly too. And uh, once we've got this <gasps> guy, I know I killed a Listrosaur. I need a lot of hide for some of the good stuff we're making here. So now I've got. Uh, are you dying slingshot. because of lack of water? Well, I'm kind of almost dying. I'm, I'm going to do okay, but uh, I will need to get back to where I can get some water relatively soon, or I will actually die. But as you can see, I'm eating berries like every few seconds, and that's keeping me just above dehydrated. So otherwise, I would certainly be in bad shape. Oh, wow. Sharon, thank you so much. We so appreciate the tip. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It says it's, it's Dean on a different account. Thank you, Dean. Yeah, thank Aww. you. We so appreciate that. All the Everybody, helpful video games. Yeah. Play Ark. Keep up the good work. Aww. Everybody, please give a big thank you to Sharon. That's awesome. We so appreciate thank that. You. Oh, Thanks, and it's Dean. Just becoming Dawn, too. Check it out. So one thing I love about the Crystal Isles is everything glows in the dark, which is pretty awesome. Everything's going to look really cool. But it just looks beautiful in the daytime, too. I mean, this is just such a stunning map. I wish I'd been able to play this earlier for everybody live, but, uh, you know, life was kind of crazy, but we're finally, uh, got some big house projects. Oh, wait, finished. let's look at the sun. Is it the sunset or the sunrise? Sunrise. Oh. Yeah. So over there we have the red obelisk. I love how and, all the crystals uh, look. Doesn't that look I mean, awesome? You know, it's crystal isles. So. You know, I haven't really showed you guys where we are, but we're actually here in the uh, southwestern side of the map. And we're, that's the jungle out there with all the red crystals. And uh, we're actually over a beautiful beach, which we're going to start building our way down to it soon because uh, we're about to unlock wooden structures and we'll actually be able to make some wooden stuff to have ladders and all of that. So yeah. that'll be super helpful. But for now, we're running back to our house and we're going to set up a bed. So if we die, we're not actually going to, uh, you know, be in too big trouble. Are we going to set up the house at the white sand shores? I will actually head down to the beaches too, but we've got that little thatch house we've been working on. And uh, you before... sound really <laughs> what's that concerned? <laughs> your your character. Oh yeah, well, I mean he is dying of dehydration, so you need I mean to get that's some water, yo. I will, I will. I'm also going to cook up a lot of this meat from these dodos, which will be super helpful. Poor dodos. I know. Rest in peace. They're really angry. <laughs> You're dodo. They, they are very angry. <laughs> but you also sound very angry. I mean, I am kind of angry, too. I am, like, dying of dehydration. So I am keeping an eye on my health because I'm a third of the way dead from dehydration. So let me actually grab some other berries here. 
This will keep us slightly Sounds alive. <laughs> it's only mostly Just dead. only slightly alive. Mm-hmm. Nearly and uh, I think I've actually got enough movement speed in my stats now that I should be able to outrun a lot of dinos that come to attack me. Which means I'll start feeling safe enough to go down this mountain. There's going to be a lot of stuff for us to hunt down there, but uh, it's a lot of dangerous stuff too. Like there's frogs, crocodiles, all kinds of crazy things at the bottom of this mountain. So I'll feel a lot better if I've got a bed up here, which will let me respawn right back up on top. So if you didn't have a bed, what would happen? Well, I would have to respawn at a random location, and that could be anywhere in the entire southwest corner of the map. And odds are I'd have to do a lot of running to get back there, so not really something I want to do. I'll feel much safer if I've actually got a bed. I think I've got quite a bit of thatch here, and let's see. Oh, bye, Chris Boyd. Thanks, well, thanks for coming. So much for We're watching. always it's repost been fun. on all of the stuff that we put yeah, live. Yeah, we'll have a replay so posted the really soon. Mm-hmm. So keep an eye out for that. K Gaming is telling me there's only one unicorn in the whole game. It's there can gone. only be one unicorn at a time, but, uh, but it will, will eventually, if this one dies, it'll eventually have another one respawn somewhere out in the entire world. Oh, right, let's got see. you. Okay. I think I've got just about 10% movement speed boost. Here we go. Okay, Parasaur welcome, Kai. Saddle. Kai says hey, hi. welcome. And Good to Leroy. see you. Nice. Welcome. Got a lot of people here today. That's great. Okay, let's see. I've got one more. Saturday. Saturday's for gaming. Apparently it is. That's work. great. But yeah, we did a lot gaming. of yard work today. <laughs> <laughs> also <laughs> so <television>. true, right? <laughs> All right, so we finally crafted a bed. I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. Yay! And that means if we die, we can respawn right back around here. And what do you think, Jen? Where should we put this bed? Can you put it right in the middle of the chest? Um, it's was saying green. That's try true. It, try it. Try it. <laughs> Actually, the problem is if I put it in the chest, then I won't be able to use it as a bed. So that's oh, kind of a problem. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. I've also got well, a sleeping can make bag and a door. And put it in true. The <laughs> we could. All right. So now we have an actual working door, which is awesome. What? We don't have a roof. What we happens have when a it roof. rains? <laughs> who, knew, who needs a roof, right? <laughs> then it'll turn into an aquarium. Right. Exactly. Fish. Which would be pretty fun, wouldn't it? Does that actually happen? No. I kind of wish it would, though. I think I heard it's it. It's probably a good thing it doesn't. It probably is. Okay, let's see. But something could attack Next you thing that would sky. be really helpful is a camping fire. So we're getting our camp pretty well established. We've only been really killing some pretty weak dinos. But if I can head down the mountain, we'll be able to find some parasaurs. And uh, those will be actually pretty fun. We'll be able to tame and ride one. And we could probably do that pretty soon. All right, two more stone. Here we go. Now we can build a cooking fire. Yeah. And with a cooking fire, we'll be able to actually cook meat, and we won't be starving all the time, which is pretty helpful. That is helpful to yeah. life. Yeah. What do you think? Should we put it right outside the front door? Yeah, go for it. All right. It'll also make it a lot easier to be able to tell where the front door is, because uh, <laughs> this it's kind is of hard to giant tell. Wall it's of just, yeah, it's just a totally... Uh, there we go. We'll put some of this in, drop some meat and some wood in the fire, and light it on up. D. Berg at 99 said he just started playing Ark. Oh, it really? For the first learn. time? Yes, it is there a really lot is. To learn. This is one of those yeah. games where you just kind of show up and you're like, what mm -hmm. in the world do I do? Exactly. Not much instructions and stuff, right? Right, which but is kind of where this channel awesome comes videos. in. So yeah. I definitely try to make it uh, easier for everyone to find out how to play. All right, check this out. So now I have a slingshot, and that's going to make it way easier to tame stuff. And let's see, how are we doing for experience? I'm actually thinking, if you guys are cool with it, now that we've got some uh, some food cooking up, we've refreshed our water, we're not dying of health and starvation and dehydration and all that stuff. So our first objective was to make sure that we had enough food and water. We've got that covered. We've built mm -hmm. some shelter. Now got we've got fire, fire to keep Just warm. Just far enough away from the We've got uh, uh, clothes, so we're decent. That's also very <laughs> important. <laughs> We have a bed so we can respawn, and uh, I think we've got our home base pretty well set up. We can go down and try to actually tame one of those parasaurs if you guys are cool with that. Ooh, parasaur. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to go and uh, try that. 
Yeah, bolas are super helpful. So uh, that's actually going to be the next thing I make now that I've got our uh, basic needs met. What's a bola? So a bola, actually, I just remembered. I'm going to grab a couple things of meat so I'm not going to starve as quickly. Then we'll that's head good straight plan. down Don't the mountain. Don't want you dehydrating like that. Yeah. Last time. Let's straight down the mountain while the rest of that is cooking up on the grill. And uh, I'm sure nothing bad will happen leaving an open fire right next to our thatch house, right? So we'll just leave that alone because <laughs> uh, sure? uh, we're responsible adults, right? It says you're too hot. Maybe don't go in, <laughs> totally don't, in the oh, fire. You don't want I... me to stand on top ah. of the fire? Really? Well, well, it's kind of fun. All right. I'm just going to eat some of these seeds because I'm not going to be farming anytime soon. You actually get a little bit of nutrition from eating seeds. And I'm going to drop off some of this stuff I'm not going to be using. We'll just dump that. Don't want salt? Just, can you just straight up <laughs> eat the salt? Uh, can you that's imagine actually that? a really good question. In real I've life, never you tried try eating do salt. It. Do it. Please do it. Okay, okay. I'll try it. We'll, <laughs> see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to check It'll my... It'll be like, your sodium level is skyrocketing. Right? I'm going to check my... Uh, oh, I can only drop. What? Come on. <laughs> you use it for uh, preserving some things yeah, and I guess all that. that. Yeah. But I was hoping that... That would be pretty great, though, wouldn't it? it? All right. I mean, you can eat some weird things in this game. You can. You can technically eat poop. You will die, but you can you die eat poop and die. Ew. It uh, it does some health damage. It does. You'll survive, but uh, you know, if you eat too much, you will definitely die. So you know, of that's, course, uh, that's how that works. All right, guys. So I think maybe the first thing we'll do is try to get up to the top of this mountain because a lot of times there are some possibly pegos for those of you who want to see that. But uh, we should actually be able to find some triceratops and or parasaurs on top Ooh. of this mountain. And a parasaur would be an amazing tame to do right now because uh, once we get a bola, we can easily tame those guys. And if we kill a couple more things, we should be able to get our experience up high enough to make a parasaur saddle, which is great. And uh, we're just about to unlock bolas, too, which is also one of my favorite weapons in the game because uh, you can use them to immobilize other dinos, which is really helpful. Parasaurs always try to run away when you try to attack them. Oh, tired You're tired. Stop climbing. moving for a moment. I mean, I am climbing mountains, you know. All right, so we're heading up there. I'm kind of wondering if I can take a shortcut and just climb my way over this way. Yeah, that's fine. I do uh, kind of like climbing stuff. Exactly the easiest thing to do. <laughs> right? We're just going to climb a mountain. That's cool. Okay, gaming's asking about more Star Wars. Yeah, we're actually going to do a Star Wars stream tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to uh, schedule that uh, mm -hmm. tonight and put it up. Yeah, we probably cool. will. And probably we actually... around 8 or 8.30, I think. Yep. And we actually just... Oh, I think I heard a Dilophosaur. <gasps> Did you guys hear that? I heard it. I heard see. it. Is he coming after that me out of the bushes? That was a exact approximation. That, yeah, it sounded just like that. So usually... Oh, there oh. he is. Ah. Wait, what level is this stab, guy? Stab, 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 stab. All right, all right, bring it. Oh, man, so, you know what's going down on the music plays. Yep. So the green numbers are me doing damage to the Dilo. The yellow numbers are me taking damage. All right, one spear down. Your when he does that, throw. we got to move sideways, otherwise he's going to spit on us. Don't want to get spit on. Now, this is a level 82 Dilophosaur. I really don't want to get hit by this thing, because it's going to do a lot of damage. Are you trying to kill it? I am, yeah. Oh, I could... sure if you could oh, we killed oh, it. Oh, he right. did it, guys. <laughs> that was fun. Goodbye, Dilophosaur. Oh, we got a lot of experience. And you that. also pooped. Just <laughs> yep, it scared the poop out of me. <laughs> I'm just did. saying. It did. Okay, well, that was actually really good. Uh, let me get Triumphant a little more stamina. Place. Yes. Now, the bola. Oh, and we already unlocked a wooden club, too, which is awesome. Okay, perfect. So, we're going to start crafting some stuff here. Need some fiber and wood. And once we have this bola, we can actually immobilize dinosaurs with it, which is great. Yeah. Oh, there's a pteranodon. We could technically hunt to pteranodons, too, and get a lot of uh, good experience and meat and all that stuff. But first things first, let's make ourselves a wooden club, which is one of my favorite weapons in the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's crazy. But with a wooden club, you can beat stuff senseless. And that's, wow, uh, all right. that's uh, like one of my favorite yeah, things sweet. to do, you know? All right, I'm going to set this up here. I'm surprised. You're usually more stealth. But just I... beating stuff with a club? All right. Okay, well... I guess it, in being it stealth, gives a nice simplicity. Right, right. It's a nice, simple way to do it. Let's see here. What do we need for more? Oh, when will bolas? Pokemon Sword and Shield return? Oh, not man. sure. We yeah, might, we might pop on really and just sure on play the one. final 
boss or something. That's Isn't quite that possible. What we're yeah. Missing, <laughs> I think. yeah, we uh, <laughs> we we played a little bit during the quarantine because there was just so much going on, and we just like really didn't have a chance to stream at any normal times anybody would want to watch. So we've actually played through a decent amount of Pokemon, but we probably will go ahead and you know start doing some of that again sometime in the near future. Okay, let's see here. So now we've got bolas, we've got a wooden club, and uh, we should be good to start hunting down some big game. Ooh, there's this guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's I was about there. to say, I was like, ooh, he saw you. Can you spot what level this guy is? By the way, if I don't let's step see. sideways. This level, oh, I'm trying to look. I know, it's hard to tell. 27. 27. Okay, great. We can definitely take him. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, you literally just killed him as soon as I began. <laughs> it's like, I Ooh, think we can I take him. I did hear that there was dies. new DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Oh, yeah, that does sound really cool. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I love all the DLC that Nintendo releases. Oh, no. Was I going the wrong way up this path? Hmm. The expansion pass. <laughs> Dang I'm it, I'm going this way. Whoops. On the internet. Right. Are you so going to tame a Tapahara? I will eventually tame a Tapahara. Alright, you guys. I think I'm going to try to kill this uh, this guy. What do you think? Can we try it? It's a level 55. Oh, okay. I was about to try to see what level. I might be able to pull this off. Alright. And then oh, we're going to go. Oh, it's so purple and pretty, though. I know. He's kind of cool. So I'm going to try to actually <laughs> beat him with a club. we got to beat him senseless, because right? that's how the world works. So there you go. I'm going to try to knock him unconscious, because actually killing him is going to be pretty hard. But if I can he knock him like, out... He has, like, no fight in him. Jeez, he's just <laughs> letting you beat him. Well, that's because I've got a bola on him. So that's ah, why I there love we go. bolas. If you can bola something, it's got 30 seconds of immobility. So it can't go anywhere for 30 seconds. Now, I'm kind of regretting not having a little more... Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, that was a little too high level. Yeah, Definitely a little to too much for me. So we'll repair that He's club. Like, we'll, we'll take on something a little easier next time. Hope he doesn't tell his friends about you. And I know. Go back right? and try to grab you. <laughs> that's throw the good you in the thing. Sky. Yeah, that's the good thing about Tyranodons as, instead of Tropios. If you attack a Tropio like that, it'll come kill you, beat the snot out of you, and uh, just keep following you for like a long time. All right, how are we doing here? I think I'm going. I think that's that Pteranodon back in the distance. You can barely see him up in the air. I'm gonna make a couple more spears. Uh oh, he's dehydrated again. Oh no, again. the dehydration sets in already. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna put some berries in my hot bear, hot bar to uh, try to stave off the dehydration a little bit. All right, what was I making? <laughs> Still at spears. point four. What's with the you and dehydration? Okay, I need some more flint. <laughs> is there no way to carry water? Is that like a more You can actually thing? make water skins, but I really want to try to tame some dangerous dino first. And uh, let's see here. All right, so I've been breaking a lot of my spears. I need to get some fiber so I can make some more spears. And I'll make probably two more spears, and then we'll try this again. Oh, man, this dehydration. <laughs> I'm just like it's running. Your, this is your true worst enemy in this game, everybody. Really Not the is, dinosaurs, man. but actual <laughs> dehydration. So true. All right, so I'm going to keep an eye out, see if I can find some Triceratops or uh, Parasaurs up here. And we'll see what we can do with those. Now, it's going to be hard to uh, deal with the Triceratops because even if I can get on top of something where I can get safe from it, it, uh, it's quite likely that it will run away if I actually try to tame it, and I may not be able to do that without some Trank arrows. So I'm hoping to find a Parasaur. Hey, check it out! There's a Parasaur! Ooh, Parasaur! Yeah! Ooh, well, that's about all the time we have for today, but in the next episode, we are going to try to tame a couple of really high-level Parasaurs, which will be incredibly helpful for the rest of our adventures. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching my wife, Jen, chat with you guys while we played through this awesome adventure. And keep an eye out for the next episode in this series, which should be coming out in the next couple of days. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have not already, because that's coming soon and you won't want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media so your friends can enjoy it too. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays for ARK and other awesome games coming soon and you won't want to miss any of that. We already have lots more fun and helpful videos just like this one, so check out the links at the end of this video to keep watching. You can also chat with other gamers if you join our channel's Discord 
at the link in the description. If you want to earn great rewards while supporting this channel, click the join link next to the subscribe button for more information about our channel memberships. We want to give a big thank you to some of our biggest supporters of this channel. Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Emmy Fisher, Wolf Girl Be Like, Kelly Razjak, and Ashley Owens. Thank you all so much for everything you do to make this channel possible. So until next time, we hope you have fun on your own video game adventures, and we, we will see you, see you in our, our next video. video.